Hi, uh, I'm, I'm Daniel. Welcome back to the Class YouTube channel. I am uh, at the airport. At the airport. Why am I at the airport? Great question. Maryland doesn't have a lot of mountains, is why. Uh, it's mountain month this month in February on glass, and uh, Maryland doesn't have good enough mountains for the photos that I would like to take for mountain month. So I'm doing something about it. I am getting on an airplane to go somewhere with mountain. Gonna make a couple of videos while I'm by the mountains. I'm even gonna see one of you. And I'm at the airport a little early because I was worried about traffic and checking in and making sure my bag was okay because I'm traveling with an obscene amount of equipment. I'm gonna take some photos around the airport while I kill time. Yeah, let's do that.
this whole week I've been really anxious and like nervous about this trip for you know a lot of reasons but mainly just because my brain is lying to me the part that's been hard about this has been um, preparing right you know like so much of photography and any creative work is just showing up and like I know that my expectations for what I'm going to do over the next 10 days is unattainably high and my discomfort is coming from the gap between what I want to make and what I'm going to make that can come at the expense of enjoying myself while I make that other stuff and so you know like I just have to I've, I've been reminding myself over the last couple of days like what if this just you know works out easier said than done but what if what if this just works out if you want to see this face every Thursday until uh, I'm dead, like and, like and subscribe. Uh, if you like photography and talking about the hard stuff of like, oh no, I have incredible imposter syndrome. I've never taken a good photo or made a good video in my life, but you should join Glass because, you know, the support of other artists, it's hard to beat. All right, I'm gonna go find something to eat. I'm currently in Sweden visiting Marcus because he uh, won the Fujifilm GFX grant for 2023 and uh, asked me, a Fujifilm GFX user, how do you use this camera? And I said, I'll come show you. Yeah, it's minus 11, I think, right now. <sighs> well, I guess we gotta start this at some point. Hi, I'm Daniel, welcome. Uh, welcome back to the Glass YouTube channel. I'm here in the middle of nowhere, Sweden. Uh, would we call this the, exactly the middle of nowhere? Halfway to the middle of nowhere, I think. That's Marcus. Uh, and there's, a, there's, a, there's an abandoned car. How deep do we think that snow is? Like, I think it's gonna go up to your mid thigh. No way, that's a car. What the snow is called? Hi, I'm Daniel. Welcome to Omsala, Sweden. Where's Omsala, Sweden, you ask? I don't know. equivalent of a buzzard finding a nice corpse and being all excited about it. I am excited about this corpse. Oh my goodness, over here. What's in here? Can you, once, 
There's, I'm gonna ask you to take my photo in here, I think. Oh, there's empty... <laughs> I know how this car ended up here. Okay, hit me. There's like three cases of empty beer. So someone at some point had like, what is it? 60... 64 beers. 64 beers while in this car. <laughs> Uh, back is still locked. Uh, oh, it's deeper back here. You're optimistic in, in trying to open that door. Oh, you did it. Can you hold this real quick? Please and thank you. That's nice. That's nice. I guess I can also pull up. No, we can't say that on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna bleep that out and <laughs> people are gonna have no idea what you said, but they're gonna be like, wow. Okay, is there glass in this seat? Yep. Hmm, probably. Okay, this is beautiful. Oh my goodness, the windshield smashed. I'm very glad you turned around. Yeah. Okay. Are you getting in? Yes, but carefully. Oh, God. You're a clever man. This is amazing. Isn't it? Thank you. It looks like the oil was changed in 2022. So this is a relatively new abandoning. I love this car for you. I love this car for me too. I'm trying to figure out what I can keep. Because I feel like I need to keep something. Would you like <laughs> no, a you, souvenir? You you keep that. That's, you have so many knickknacks in your home. Yeah, I do. You love a knickknack. This is I a great knickknack knack to remember me by. Before Thank I... Thank you. It's a good knickknack. I will keep it forever. Anyway, if you could go over to the side and shoot me through the window, that'd be I great. Will. That is a mold. <laughs> we should have brought a light for you inside there. It's one of my car. <sighs> the things I do for you. Oh, <laughs> so one of the things that's been really fun hanging out with Marcus is, let me set the scene. Marcus and I were driving down. We're driving. We're driving to uh, Norway right now, uh, and we both looked to the left at the exact same time and saw this car. And he was like, "You know," and I was like, "We got it." Didn't have to ask. Didn't have to say anything. We just knew. Yeah, so much stuff we wanted to be. you know, had explicit permission and explicit mutual excitement. There we are. And like, there's something so fun and so like exciting about a photographer being out with other photographers who are like, yeah, no, I see exactly what you're doing. I'm gonna hike back through the feet of snow to grab a light so we can light you better within the abandoned car that you just broke into to take a portrait. You know, that, and that's, that's something really special. It's gonna turn out it helps absolutely nothing, but. Wait, really? I can move it closer. Yeah, I'll move it closer. Because it's so bright out here. Let's just hope the Do you dynamic range is as good as advertised. Bright, bright. It might just be that it's so bright that it's hard to see anything. What, what are, are you shooting manual or are you... Yeah, but this works. This is good. This is good? Yep. Great. I found 
the broken key. Oh, that's okay. my knickknack. Okay, one more. Ouch! Wow, punching through glass is so much harder than they make it look in the movies. <laughs> I guess they're like punching through candy. Yeah. Would you like to be photographed inside the car? <laughs> no, I'm good. Well, that was worth the stop. That was a good one. Yeah, glad we did that. Yeah. That shall not be broken today. Ooh, unless this trailer hitch comes up. I think there's a better chance of you breaking your hand. There really is, yeah. Well, let's get to Norway first before I start accruing healthcare Bump me costs. Injuries. Yeah. There aren't any photographic lessons besides uh, go places with other photographers. Don't drink and drive. Don't drink and drive. All right. Well, this. There are a few here that I think are gonna. They're gonna be winners. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, there's. I'm like, yeah, we're happy. We're gonna be cold for the rest of the drive. That's fine, we've only got another six hours. Yep. And then that three hour ferry ride. Yeah, but that's, that's inside, it's fine. Anyway, if you want to see this face every Thursday until I'm dead, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. There is so much snow in and around me. That was fun. that for us. Okay, so we stopped to take a photo of a broken window in an abandoned uh, cabin on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but the, the door's open? The door's open. So I'm I'm going to trudge through some snow. Thank you. 
I wish that we had more time. Cause like down here is incredible. But it to like do this justice, it would need to be a bunch of long exposures. Even, even without long exposures, this is pretty great. A lot of hoses, a lot of colanders, a lot of old water heater. I will be like two more minutes. Okay, the moral of the story is always stop whenever you see an abandoned cabin with a door open. Hop inside, have a nice time. Do not go down the stairs like I did. That's very dangerous. That's how you end up a Swedish uh, folktale? Is that it? Yeah, yeah. Don't become a Swedish folktale. Do become a photographer. Join glass today or whatever. Everything about this is amazing. What a day. circle. Are you setting up in front? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I'm just making sure I frame the shot right. So I can then set it and leave it.
Hi, I'm uh, Daniel. Welcome back to the Glad's YouTube channel. We found a nice turn. We're about 20 kilometers into the Arctic Circle on our way to Norway. And uh, it's negative 15 degrees Celsius, which is, you know, 11 or 15, something, so it's, it's cold. Under 20 Fahrenheit. And we found our first real mountain, and it's right along this pass right at sunset. And there's a big curve, and we're hoping to catch one or two cars. Oop, car coming. Yep. I did not get my angle set up for that one in time, but I was like trying as fast as I could to get it going. And so I ended up with a 10 second exposure at F16 <laughs> with- uh, the trailing car lights? Yeah, with 1000 ISO and I got, oh, I got pretty good trailing. I, uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Let's do a 30 second at, let's do 200. Let's see how that feels. Eleven degrees. That's too cold. There's a thing there. Huh? There's a thing I want to shoot. There. There goes Marcus off into somewhere. <laughs> He's just, here, let me show you Marcus. So we can get a better idea of what he's trying to shoot from. It's impossibly cold, it's gonna be mountain months, and so we thought it'd be of good fun idea to visit some mountains together and what better mountains than uh, Lufoten, Norway. So that's where we're headed now. We're still about two hours away from the ferry. That's going to be a three hour ferry ride and then we're going to get there. We've only stopped to take photos four times today but every time has been an absolute amazing little joy. Uh, Car. Oh, here we go. Let's go, let's go. Oh, those are gonna be great. This, this is gonna be amazing. <laughs> Were you ready? I had just started a long exposure of you. There's another car coming this way, like five kilometers away. Actually, the one of you got pretty good. Why am I white? Because oh, because I'm moving. Yeah, 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 of course. Because it's still good. I like it. Oh, hey, Orion's belt. Yeah. I cannot good. feel my knuckles. No, we should go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to catch the ferry. Yeah, we have a long. We're stuck here. Long way to go. Oh my god, amazing, holy shit. I'm so thrilled. Yep. Uh, there's one more car coming, is it okay if I grab yeah, a... Yeah, sure, 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 sure. One more, bam, bam, bam. I swear I saw a car coming. Yeah, I thought so too. Okay, well I'm just gonna take this star photo anyway. Oh, there it is, now it's coming. Two.
Man, oh man. That worked out. That worked out great. Holy hell. Let me close that for you. Hang on, you turning on the headlights made an amazing red light because oh. of the tail lights, so I'm gonna take one more. All right, last shot before we head to Lufthansa for the ferry. There's a three hour ferry ride and then we get there around midnight and then, uh, you know, and then we're gonna immediately take photos all night. because we're lucky. Norway. Okay, so we're on the ferry to Lofoten right now. Uh, we accidentally locked our tripods in the basement. That was our bad. It's uh, just before midnight or getting close. It is impossibly cold and windy. We've had a really great day so far. We drove about eight hours, stopped multiple times to take photos. And you know, each time kind of really, really hit the spot. <laughs> Felt. Like, if I had only taken a handful of those photos from one of the stops, I would have been happy about today. Uh, and I feel that way about the five times we stopped to take photos today. Like, dozens of photos that I'm just in love with. I know that part of this is just my mood because I'm so excited to be here with Marcus and uh, getting to go to Lofoten and spend some time in the north of Sweden. And I think that's, you know, really special in that it's rare that we get expectation free time to just make and create and this opportunity is really special for that. Uh, I'm, re I'm really glad that this is something that he and I have been able to make the time to do. Um, I can't feel my fingers or my toes at the moment but 100% worth it. Uh, we're going to spend the next 24 hours in Lofoten. Uh, we're staying on the western end tonight and then we'll be road tripping through all of Lofoten tomorrow and we'll stay on the eastern side before going on to northern Sweden the day after. It's 12.50, made it to our Airbnb. We're going outside. This feels like it's happening to someone else. So what'd you do? Oh, well, I flew 16 hours and then drove for 11 to take a photo of a lamppost. What'd you do? <laughs> Photographers' brains are broken. <laughs> All right, mountain month starting now. Marcus just walked into my shop and I might have to delete him later. In Photoshop. 
you know, feel pretty exhausted. This is amazing. My battery's not full. Mine's not either. Mine's like it's starting to blink. Oh, well, I mean, we should probably use that as the excuse it is to go to bed. Is there a Airbnb and I turn that light on on purpose? We've got another big day ahead. Marcus and Daniel's big adventure continues tomorrow. <coughs> Daniel, welcome back to the last YouTube channel. We've slept. We're in Lofoten. A lot of mountains. We're gonna go take a lot of photos of mountains. that Marcus and I were both pretty worried about is we don't really do landscape photography. We do like, here's a broken house or here's a factory or you know, here's something dirty and dying, not here's a perfect mountain vista. So we were worried about like, what were we gonna photograph in Lofoten? It turns out we're gonna photograph the mountains. We are now landscape photographers. This is a landscape photography YouTube and a tunnel appreciator. We love tunnels. Shout out to Norway and all its mountains and all its tunnels. Do you have anything to add to that? Love it. Love it. It's the best. Please look forward to pre-ordering our new book. Holy shit, look at this mountain. So we stopped at a gas station to get some snacks and then we saw a single photo. So we started taking photos. I don't actually have any of our like video equipment for these photos because these weren't supposed to be a spot where we were stopping to take photos. So gonna take some photos. Sometimes it's just about paying a bunch of money to get somewhere that looks like this and then pointing a camera at it and then we glamorize it and then people feel like they're not good photographers because they didn't have the money to come here. But if I'm being honest, this is making me feel like the worst photographer in the world. 
because all I'm doing is like, oh, okay. <laughs> That'll do. Restraint. Restraint. Uh, intelligence. Uh, Probably. Uh, handsomeness. Yeah. 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 Only handsome people leave after an hour and a half. Yeah. Like it feels it feels insane that I traveled, uh, you know, whatever it is, like five thousand miles and multiple planes, trains, automobiles, boats, ferries, <laughs> to make the point that like you shouldn't have to travel to take incredible photos and you can make amazing images in your home. So like maybe in Lofoten, it's not the right spot to try to make that point, but. <laughs> okay, so now uh, we have, we have uh, created what's called the holy f rule, where we're only stopping, oh, holy f Yep. <laughs> <laughs> where we're only stopping to take a photo if we swear. Uh, that's it, those are the rules. We have to travel five hours. We've made it exactly 10 minutes. Uh, that was supposed to be quick coffee and snacks and that took 90 minutes. So, it's going great. I love that for them. They deserve it. Did you see those, uh, like the one with the uh, palm poles? I think he realized that. No, no he didn't. He's not gonna realize anything. We made, we made it like a kilometer before we stopped again. Um, but in our defense, it did, it did look something like this. banning ourselves from the coast. We're headed into the mountains, trying to take the road less seen. Okay, we made it. We made it, we made it like two kilometers this time. I'm gonna, I'm, new plan, new plan. I am not going to put on my coat. That's how we're gonna get around this. Okay, I had a new plan. Yeah. I'm not putting on my coat. So the colors will tell you Yeah.
All right, well, that was worth the stop. I'm freezing. Okay, no coat idea was great. Three cheers for no coat. Look at us, we're back inside within four minutes. That's perfect. That's amazing. That's great, great job, us. Well, we made it another 30 feet. <laughs> this feels like it's happening to someone else, right? Like, that this is my life uh, today and only today is is nuts um pretty grateful pretty happy pretty good all right i'm gonna get out i'm gonna take some photos I don't know about you, but I'm like legitimately tired. <laughs> I'm tired too. Like my brain is tired from having onboarded so many new amazing views that I'm like, no more. Yeah, we need we need a we need a visual break, like a white page to look at or something. Yeah, something brain. beige. Yeah, I want to give me a taupe wall. I guess the point is, holy shit, look at these photos. I suppose that's yeah. That's fair. That's a pretty good point. What more do you need? It is a photography channel and a photography community. Hey, join Glass. Use the link in the description. You can meet friends who will drive you to Norwegian islands. It's pretty good.
we finally made it to our Airbnb. It's been a long day. I kept thinking about this, right? Cause like, I was trying to make that point about not needing to go to the most beautiful place on earth to take photos. I think the thing that I was actually trying to say is so often people assign, uh, what's, what's the way to say this? It feels like photographers often will use the excuse of vacation or a road trip or a flight to take their photography seriously, to say that this is a thing they care about and they feel like they have to take a long flight or a long train ride or a car ride to get to a spot where they can make meaningful photos. But that's like selling outside of your home short, right? Like you can leave your house and walk around uh, your neighborhood and take incredible photos. Uh, we often just end up using vacation as the excuse to put forth effort into our photography instead of putting forth effort into what's outside our door. Passion follows commitment, not the other way around. And so like when you when you commit to like a daily photo project, the passion for your photography will come from that and the growth that you get from that will help feed anytime you're taking photos, even if you're walking outside your door or if you're flying from Baltimore all the way to Northern Sweden to drive forever to get to Norway doesn't matter like the the photography is improved by the commitment to it and by going forth and doing it wherever you are not just needing to take a trip to do it that's what i was trying to say sorry i'm very tired i'm gonna go drink some wine and edit 900 photos uh and you want to see this face every thursday until i'm dead please like and subscribe in the thing um so I can keep spending my own personal money to fly places in the world. Uh, join Glass today, it's the best. You'll find friends who will drive you to the ends of the earth for a photo. Or like, dance around in trees with lights. That's pretty great. That's pretty great. I don't really know where we are anymore. Somewhere in Norway near the near the border of Sweden. There's nowhere, there's nowhere to uh, buy coffee. It doesn't open for another 15 minutes. Oh, hi. <laughs> also, hi, I'm Daniel. Welcome back to the Glass YouTube. I'm gonna take a quick photo walk around the town in this very idyllic snow. Let's see what I can get while we wait for coffee. No coffee to be had. What do you want to do? I want to keep going. Let's okay. see if we can find better coffee at a restaurant. Can I go take a photo of the lake real quick? Okay. Alright, cool.
One of the cool things about photography is that good photos can come from anywhere. Yeah, just kidding. We drove another three minutes and there was a great bridge. Really thought we were gonna not stop every few seconds this time, today. We're like trying to drive somewhere today, but turns out all we're trying to do is drive to this bridge. We're truly in the middle of nowhere. This is not, this is not a tourist location at all. Where are we? Is that it? I think so. That sounds right. Yeah, because that's the bridge. Oh, that's deeper than you think. Did not prepare my shoes for this. reflection. <laughs> okay. All right. Get it together, Daniel. Nice. Ow.
feeling pretty grateful. Anyway, <sighs> cut to the uh, ending I filmed in the gas station parking lot because I thought we were done. Anyway, if you want to see this face every Thursday until I'm dead, uh, like and subscribe. But draw on glass, because that's a way better place to see my face. Hi, I'm Daniel. Welcome back to the Glass YouTube channel. Uh, our Arctic Circle journey continues. We're currently in Kirna, Sweden. We've got a little bit of downtime right now, like maybe 40 minutes. And so I'm gonna take a little photo walk. Well, if it isn't Marcus Narviati. How's it going? Banger of a shadow on that sign right there. Yeah. You know, we've got like another 20 or 30 minutes, give or take. I still need to go up and yeah. get that go other ahead. sign. Meet you later.
so lost. <laughs> I think heading this way. That's too high. That's a roof. Shit. I was about to walk in the very wrong direction. Glad I checked. Okay, I have used a map and I found my way home. Thanks, thanks for joining me. That's uh it's a little slice of uh, Kirana. Arctic Circle is great. Highly recommend the Arctic Circle. Highly recommend making great images where you are. Why not both? If you like this and uh, want to see my face every Thursday until I'm dead, make sure to like and subscribe, uh, comment, you know, something, say hello, tell me your favorite warm clothing or something, and uh, Join glass because uh, the photos are gonna look so much better on glass than this YouTube. Whew. I'll see you soon. Okay, well, we've stopped once again because there's a nice tree. You're not gonna make your flight. Oh God. You're gonna be stuck here. Oh yeah, now I live in Sweden. All right, Glass is now a Swedish company. It's gonna be great. That's a joke for all the tax authorities that just heard it. Just a little yoke. <laughs> all right. Uh... Somebody almost threw his camera on the ground. I won't say who, but it wasn't you. I'm so excited to return to a place where I don't have to wear 17 coats to step outside.
photo yet, so I'm gonna need that back. All right. Sorry. This is all part of the fun. Thanks for joining us on our Arctic Snorkel adventure. Marcus and Daniel's big adventure. It's been a pleasure. That's the last photo I'm going to show you. Like and subscribe every Thursday until I'm dead. Join glass. I'm so cold. <laughs> All right. See y'all.